1995 Hayward Fault document contains a description of the Hayward Fault tour. Structural engineer Ron Hamburger traveled the fault from San Pablo Bay to Hayward noting numerous buildings similar to structures damaged in the 1994 Northridge and other earthquakes. The list above is a short description of the built environment intersecting the fault. Most of the commercial and residential structures observed by Hamburger in 1995 are still standing today. While other chapters of this document describe major seismic retrofit projects undertaken by state and federal agencies, this chapter focuses on commercial and residential structures that are typically privately owned. These two building categories would gen generate the majority of the earthquake losses in the Hayward Scenario earthquake, and most of these losses will be uninsured. Today, USGS provides an interactive map and tour of the active traces of the Hayward Fault using Google Earth. The online map superimposes the fault on three-dimensional representations of the geographic features and major structures along the fault. East Bay business or homeowners can easily find their locations and see how close they are to the fault. In many cases, the on-the-ground comparison of building structures with those damaged in the Northquake, Northridge earthquake is still possible, but now with the use of Google Maps Street View. This close-up shows the fault bisecting the Contra Costa College campus in San Pablo. Progress has been made on the seismic retrofit or replacement of vulnerable K-12 school buildings. California Assembly Bill AB 300 created a list of potentially dangerous school buildings. State and local bond measures have provided some support for local school districts including West Contra Costa, Berkeley, Albany, and Piedmont. However, evaluation and retrofit or replacement remains a voluntary effort. This is a school that was constructed to replace an older, vulnerable school located in the near field zone of the Hayward Fault. In 1995, it would have taken some time to plot all the schools within the Hayward Fault Zone. This is an example of a Google Earth map showing public schools located in the fault zone. There are still K-12 school buildings that require retrofit in the Hayward Fault region. The 1995 report identified the University of California, Berkeley, shown here, as a campus with significant risk. Progress has been made at the University of California, Berkeley, which straddles the fault. The Seismic Action Plan for Facilities Enhancement and Renewal, or SAFER program, provides a comprehensive approach to seismic safety on the UC Berkeley campus. Construction began on the Memorial Stadium retrofit project last year, Memorial Stadium being that oval shape in the middle of this map. 